Welcome back to our special New Year's Eve Live. I'm Linda Kincaid. And recently, I got the chance to catch up with Paris Hilton. The party girl turned businesswoman and now mother told me that she's loving this new phase in her life. In years past, on New Year's Eve, Paris Hilton would have been at one of the hottest parties on the planet. Instead tonight, she's enjoying some quiet time with her two babies in Montana. Happy New Year, Paris. Happy New Year, Linda. So, firstly, congratulations. You've just had a baby, growing your family. How's she doing? She is doing amazing, my little princess. We are just over the moon and so in love with her. And I just feel like my life is so complete now with my baby girl, my baby boy. Is that a real? Yes. <laughs> we had it so fast. So beautiful. So and your baby boy was a surprise. Was she a surprise? She was a surprise to everyone as well. My mom and my sister knew, but they didn't know when it was happening. What do you love about motherhood and what do you find most challenging? These babies bring so much light and love into my life and especially just seeing Phoenix smile and laugh and he just learned how to dance. Hello, where are you? Peekaboo. <laughs> It's the one thing is just balancing it all. Is I'm a working mom, I have a crazy schedule, so I am learning to say no and just trying to spend as much time as possible with my little ones. Long before TikTok and Instagram, you were one of the original influencers. You set so many trends. Talk to me about how your brand has evolved and what worked, what didn't work. For me, I was one of the first to realize the power of media and building a personal brand. And it's just amazing just to see how it's inspired this whole new generation and it's really created a new genre of celebrity. Cool. She has these dance moves. You created this business, this entertainment company in 2006. It's now a multi-billion dollar company. What advice have you had from your grandparents, the founders of the Hilton Hotels, and your parents over the years? I always really was very close with my grandfather, and he was my business mentor and would always give me so much advice and just the importance of working hard. And that's something that I want to instill in my children as well. Because when you come from a privileged family, you can give your children everything, but if you give them too much, you're going to spoil them. So I feel really lucky that my parents didn't do that with me. Is there a business that you look to expand into next? I'm trying to think what else that I can <laughs> do. I'm about to release my 30th fragrance. I have 19 different product lines, including my clothing line, my new cookware line, and everything from music to writing my books and to doing my TV shows and producing. Um, so I don't even know what else that I could do. I do it all. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on. Maybe, maybe a baby wear line? Well, actually, we're working on that right now. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> um, it doesn't surprise me. So you just wrote a memoir, and you spoke about some traumatic things that happened when you were a teenager that seemed to surprise even your parents, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my memoir, I talk about things that I never told my closest friends, none of my family members. They were just such traumatic experiences that I just didn't want to think about them at all. Writing this book was one of the most difficult experiences of my life. You reflected on having ADHD, and you spoke about a doctor saying that, you know, you're not, it's not an affliction, it's not a disease, you're not dealing with it as a victim, you're just living with it. Why was it important to talk about that now? I just wish there was someone out there that would have talked about it back when I was a teenager, because back then no one was talking about ADHD, so I didn't even know what it was. I just wasn't able to focus in school. I was getting bad grades and constantly getting punished by the teachers. Do you now see it as a superpower? I do. I don't think that I would be the person I am today if it wasn't for that. And you have just renewed your second season of Paris in Love, your reality show. What surprises are in store and how involved will your children be? Because children certainly keep things real, right? Definitely. <laughs> oh, 
this season I'm just so proud of. It's all about this new phase of my life of becoming a wife and a mom. So it's just very authentic and real. A lot of it was actually shot on an iPhone because we wanted it to be as personal as possible. When you look ahead to 2024, what are the trends? I just love the 2000s fashion. It's just so much fun. I love the sparkles. I'm seeing a lot of pink, which I love because I've always, I feel like before there was Barbie core, I was you always Barbie. rocking the Barbie core. <laughs> so I call it Paris core. And when we look back on 2023, some have reflected that this is the year of the woman. You've had the likes of Taylor Swift, Beyonce, Greta Gerwig, and the entire Barbie team smashing records, box office success, making history. Do you think this is a turning point for women-led and owned entertainment? Yes. I think it's so incredible to see all of these powerful women really taking back their power and their voice and just really making a mark in this world because, as Beyonce said, the girls run the world. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And finally, you've had so many interesting musical collaborations with some pretty big artists, even fellow Aussie, Sia. What can we expect musically coming from you in the near future? Well, I love Sia so much. She's one of my closest friends and is the most brilliant songwriter of our time. I just, I'm so honored to be working with her and she's the executive producer of my whole album and just being in the studio with her is just such a dream come true. What are your wishes for 2024? I'm just so excited just for this new mom era that I'm in right now. It's, I've never felt happier and I just feel so grateful for everything. And our thanks to Paris Hilton and her team. Her book is out now, Paris, the Memoir. We have so much to come in our special coverage of New Year's Eve Live. We are just minutes away from 2024 in Greece. We're going to go live to Athens when we come back. <laughs>